Imagine. Mm -hmm. Okay, hello everybody. My name is Vixie and uh, today I am going to be taking you through the streets of Raccoon City. Um, three, two, one, go. Um, what you're going to be noticing is that I am running the PC version, and for some reason, I have no game music. Ah! Uh, <laughs> bear with me one second. <laughs> that was just the demo, all right? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> all right, just bear with me one second, please. what happens in my streams quite a lot so um it, it was just a demo okay <laughs> all right let's try that again shall we <laughs> there we go all right so um we're playing the pc version the source next version which is uh japanese um, if you have played the games before, you will notice that the enemies are standing completely different. This is because the Japanese version is easier than the US. Hold your fire! I'm a human! Um, God bless Kendo. Shamey wasn't more in the game, to be honest. Um, you are going to get a lot of <laughs> keyboard ASMR. <laughs> and I do apologize for that. I don't have a clue. By the time I noticed something was wrong, unfortunately, the, the um was infested with zombies. The game doesn't have as much corny dialogue as RE1, but the game is fantastic. It's one of my favorites. Um, what we are aiming to do is get to the RPD in the fastest time and with the fewest bites. Spooky time. I had bad RNG, so I'm gonna get bit here. It's fine. Through the basketball courts. <laughs> no Jill sandwiches, unfortunately. I, I do apologize. Um, with the RE2 speedrun, um, mostly it's about lions. There's hardly any RNG to this. Really? <laughs> All right, it's fine. This this is uh <laughs> this is fine. This is fine. All right. So ideally, we would like a two one on this bus. Three two is your standard. That's um. I can explain a bit more about the game when I get to the RPD, and I know I'm a bit more safer. All <laughs> about those lines, which I am uh, failing. I'm a bit nervous. Sorry. <laughs> Okay. What you will notice about the um, PC version is that you can skip door doors. Um, on the GameCube, that allows you to uh, skip cutscenes, but um, it amounts to about the same time. Oh man! And here we are meeting the uh, the hero Who of the you? Raccoon Police Department, oh, Marvin. You must be the new guy, Leon. Or well, as he's affectionately Sorry, known in the RE2 community as like uh, Will Smith. <laughs> has been cancelled. What happened? Um, About two months ago. Door skips are a bit awkward. You there's a lag frame um, when you can press action to go through um, fluidly. Of this city. You, what you don't want is to Chris hit like the big mesh the of black screen after you've entered the door because you will waste time. Um, if you skip all the cutscenes, well, all the door skips properly, you will save at least five no, minutes no on your run. Believe them. Um, again, we do the Not PC version because that, it's the most competitive. Um, shout outs to Magnoodle who got uh, the Leon A World record yesterday with a 48-45, which Don't is insane. One Just of the best runners. In the other rooms. 
Here. Take this key, key card. card. You should be able to unlock the doors in the hall with this. Now go. Now go. Okay, I... so um, the RPD is where we're going to be spending about 60% of our Fine. time in this game. You. Just hold on. It also has some tricky dodges, and um, I was going to play safe, but I'm not a runner who's known for safety, so I'm going to YOLO, and if I die, then the next runner should probably be standing by. <laughs> I tried doing safe strats and I died just as fast, so, you know, it's it's gonna be uh, one of those runs. <laughs> but for now, we're gonna do um, a bit of running through the, uh, the lobbies. I remembered when I played this for the first time on the PlayStation, this scene scared the living daylights out of me. But he's harmless at the minute, so we can just run past him. Uh, yeah, this game uses uh, tank controls as well, which are infinitely better than any other control system. And we're going to be working our way onto our first puzzle, which is the statues. With Leon, you can just give two big pushes and you should be clear to um, push the back. Sometimes you get stuck on the statue behind and it's... Uh, it's a bit annoying to say the least, it's killed many a run. <laughs> and here we're going to see our first and final encounter with the lovely Lady Claire Redfield. Um, Resident Evil 2 is split into four scenarios. Leon A, Claire B, Claire A, Leon B. The canon version is Claire A, Leon B, but I'm not doing those, I'm doing Leon A. Um, basically to show Leon A is one of the easiest of... It's the easier of the four runs and very, very beginner friendly. There's no reason for us to stay any longer than necessary. Let's split up, look for any survivors... We also have um, a very good RE2 community. Right. We're very helpful one if you guys thing. ever wanted to Here's pick up the, the run. Take it. So let us know, we'll all come and help you. Always yeah, looking for new runners. Anything happens. And um, that's it for Claire. And now we have to do a bit of backtracking. We have to do the second half of the statue. So again, a couple of pushes. Make sure you clear of that. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. That statue is annoying. Um, you have to count it out, otherwise you will miss it. It's just impossible to do it without. If you can do it without, you're a psycho. <laughs> um, so we're not gonna pick the gem up yet because that would involve going back on yourself and uh, that wastes time. Uh, the bit that I'm most worried about coming up now, the hands, um, they don't do any damage, but lining up is... Uh, Sometimes very scary. Again, we pass through this friendly liquor. I like to call him Steve. Just, just chilling in the hallway there. Uh, mashing on the doors as well gets you the earliest frame to open them. Uh, also saves time. <laughs> RE2's um, inventory is, uh, is very responsive. It's kind of hard to explain while you're running <laughs> how it works because I'm terrible with directions and I'll be like oh it's up and left when I could be like down and right because I'm 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 that way I guess but please don't scratch thank you okay that, that, that is good why are you running <laughs> The text in the game is Japanese. Um, you don't need to understand what it's saying. It's all they mostly say is, "Do you want to discard this? Do you want to pick this up? Do you want to la 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 la?" It's not important. 
So we are on our way to pick up our first red gem. In this very, very abandoned spooky room. Using our lighter for the first time. <laughs> if you've ever or never played RE2, it actually has a very deep storyline. I would recommend anyone, if they've never played it, to actually give it a go. Oh. That line there is, um, it looks like it's scary, but it's not. <laughs> and off we go to pick up this gem that we dropped earlier. And now we have to make our way to the library. There's a dodge at the end here, which is super scary. I was gonna... I want one to help so um, I could be going into caution soon. So I get for yellow and I'm gonna grab a fat, um, not a fast, a, uh, a herb soon, just to uh, heal up. Yeah, if you've never played it, spoilers ahead. I'm gonna make our way around this library, drop through the floor to come on to our second puzzle. do is move these two end bookcases right and that will open up the first plug for you. Um, I'm doing the two plus two route. There is a four plus, well a four plus, there is a four plug route and there is a three plus one which is like why are you even considering doing this route but um yeah. So we have our gems but um we can't really progress through, uh, to put them where we need to so we have to go get the valve handle I'm so glad I called it the valve handle and not the steering wheel this time remember the big plug thank you ginger <laughs> these birds I was hoping I would get smacked in the head with them just to show you show it off but um they, they were playing nice today <laughs> Dodge is very easy, hold up and left and you'll swing around them zombies every single time, always miss them. Uh, going back we hit under the lamppost, hope that Misty doesn't fast turn, okay that's fine because that would have put us into caution and when you are in caution you automatically run 10% slower. This, um, basically what happens in the Claire, Claire B scenario is that you see the plane crash into the side of the building and that's when Mr. X drops. Um, we are extinguishing the plane so we can make our way into the room that um, the fire was blocking. It's the art room. Unfortunately, X is not going to give us give it to us in this run. Sorry. That guy there, did you know he'd been pecked to death? Who would have guessed with all those birds around? Um, you want to take the down line because if you take the up line, that pilot just is going gonna, is gonna to get you. Want to pick up the key? No X today. Um, putting the red gems in to um, pick up pick up the uh, the plug that I always miss and away we go <laughs> I'm kind of hoping this pilot down well this um, police officer down here doesn't turbo okay he didn't, nice <laughs> and um, as you can see the beginning part of this game has a lot of backtracking I'm going to have to unfortunately pick up a herb um, where the liquor was because um, there's a couple of YOLO strats coming up and if I fail them, then it, it could be bad. <laughs> uh, ladder skips and stair skips work the same as door skips. Um, so you just have to wait for about two seconds and you can skip it pretty quick. Uh, 
basically give you a bit of a backstory. This story happens two months after the um, RE1 incident. You're... I hate you, Steve. Run! Okay, we're fine. <laughs> Unfortunately, you don't miss uh, um, you don't see Brian Irons in this in this scenario, um, but you'll find out a little bit more about him in a bit. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> this is why I don't yolo so much. Ooh. All right. So um, remember Marvin? We're about to see him again. Oh my god. He's a zombie! Marvin behaving though. We got slow Marvin. That's very good. Uh, Marvin can run. He can run. He can uh, stagger a bit faster. And he can also go super slow. That was very good luck. And now we're making our way to the, uh, the west side. <laughs> I hope that's the west side and not the east side because I'm <laughs> really bad with directions. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna grab the safety hub. I kinda have to, but it, it's fine. Just for um, some of the dodges that are coming up. Uh, for this first time we see dogs pretty easy to dodge just uh, move a bit to the left and you're out the way and now we see our love interest where's my tea at oh there it is sorry about that so uh, yeah this this incident happens two months after Resident Evil 1 I really wish I could have put this in between RE1 and RE3, but unfortunately, due to my scheduling being stupid, um, it wasn't able to happen. So thank you guys for moving it for me. I appreciate that. Um, there are a couple of funny spelling mistakes in this, so if you can pick them out, you know, you get points. I've been trying to find another way inside. If we work together, we can move this thing. Give me a hand here, will you? Um, there isn't really a a quick way to move this, but you just kind of want to grab it as like the first frame you, that you can and emergency. <laughs> um, no, the the spelling mistakes are actually in English. <laughs> Here we go. Ada, wait! Ada, wait, count one. Ada, wait! And we're off to the prison cells. Let, Let me guess. guess. You, you must, must be ben. ben. Right? Get up. Now. And th now we see Leon being um, a bit sassy. It's nice to, to have here. that bit of... um. He has a bit of pizzazz about him right now. Is this the guy? Is this the guy? Ben, you told the city officials that you knew something about what's been going on, didn't you? What did you tell them? Sorry, um, it's Who just something when people play Resident Evil games, especially the classic games, you John. will get people it's mimicking um, <laughs> some of the lines Chicago, because they're just hilarious. <laughs> six months ago. I heard a rumor that he's here in the city. I don't know anything. And even, and even if, if I, I did, did why, why would I want to tell you? Okay, I say we leave him in there. So um, we don't really pay attention to Ben because he's wearing cords. I have it right here, officer. But I'm not about to leave this cell. Basically, Those Ben's being a bit of a, a dick there. and not really giving us the information that we require. What was that? Bloody hell. <laughs> Like I said, I'm not leaving this cell. Get out of here before you This leave game right has an auto splitter and um, it splits at every single door. So um, 
It can get quite what? intense and intimidating well, if you ever live, watch someone speedrunning RE2, but, it, but it's all automated. Do you even don't know worry. how to get out of the city? Don't worry, I got you guys. There's a kennel in the back of the building. All right, so um, because my inventory is full, I'm going to have to heal up and then pick up the, uh, the item needed to push me on to the next bit. All right, I'm going. Go away, Matt. Okay, um, we got the manhole opener, and so we're going to go open the manhole, would you believe? And down here, we find our very first furry friends. That's all I'm going to say. Affectionately called Sid and Steve, because everything is Steve. <laughs> Steve, uh, Sid, no, Steve is at the front. Sid is the, the naughty one. Hi, Steve. All right, please don't spit at me. Thank you. That spider there is um, very dangerous. He can spit poison at you and um, you waste 12 seconds going in to pick up a herb. We're gonna deposit these plugs because we don't need them at the minute. And this is what um, is meant by the two two plug route. So. Ada? Ada? I don't think I've introduced myself yet. Ada? My name's Leon. I'm with the RPD. That shrug. It's just like, and um, this is going to be one of the first sections that you can yeah. actually take control of Ada. Um, fun fact you about this game is that if shot. you have a two-handed weapon you equipped, you, you will run. It, it feels like you run a bit slower, but your turn in's a bit more off. So, um, preferred is the uh, the one-handed gun, <laughs> and we don't. We don't have a lot of weapons in this game. We have the knife in our inventory because we don't bank it. But um, all, we, all you're going to see me be using is the handgun and the magnum. You know, it's just, just a couple of easy lines to uh, Mr. Dogs. They're pretty harmless. And we're on to our um, third puzzle of the game. This one can be a bit of a run killer if you don't line them up to... I'm gonna um, go for the extra safe half the push. <laughs> um, I, I did a practice run of this the other day and completely messed it up, so uh, I don't trust my um, my pushing skills, shall we say? Fun fact: um, when you play as Claire, you get to control Sherry, and um, she can actually push a lot further than what Ada can, and she's a child. She just works out a bit more, I think. Ada always being pushy. Come on, guys. Sort it out. And we have picked up the uh, the club key, which is going to enable us to um, go through the worst rooms in the RPD. Um, the rooms coming up. Can you hear me? <laughs> oh. <laughs> The infamous YOLO horde <laughs> and uh, the, the red hall. I'm not expecting to get hey, this dodge I because I, I tried it five, I'm six times before I am. Um, I, I hit live and failed uh, 100% of them. <laughs> Ada, but I'm going to go for it because I'm, I'm going to YOLO. It's, it's fine. So we'll grab the key. And off we go. A little bit of backtracking now. Unfortunately, we have to go past the spiders again, which can poison you. And this one you want to take the wide wall because that one will booty bop you out the way. Just wants a hug. I feel like my, um, what's the word? The tagline for, for this run is going to be yellow. <laughs> All right, so dogs were here before, and now we have our friendly liquor friends. Nice dodge. <laughs> um, we, <laughs> that dodge is a. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why it works, but um, it's it's really funny to uh <laughs> to see. And we're gonna pick up the gun we're gonna be using for the uh, the rest of the game. I feel like I have an extra key, which is not normally there. 
which is quite scary. Am, am I imagining things? Oh, I don't know. You have many liqueur friends? All right, here we go. I need concentration. Oh my God, I did it. <gasps> Shout out to Yolo Horde. Oh, do you know what? That grab does not bother me. But I got, I got the, uh, the YOLO dodge. I'm, I'm so proud. <laughs> I'm gonna heal up because my health is on a 135. Just gonna heal up using the fast, uh, bring it back to 200, just to ensure that I'm gonna be okay on the way out. Yeah, I apologise for my, uh, the, the accent. <laughs> Alright. We have the cog, which means we can go up to the clock tower, which, um... Oh. Alright, never mind. Ah! Okay, scary. All right, never mind. <laughs> I forget, I forget how many times I have actually played this game, and those dodges always scare me. <laughs> uh, okay, okay. <laughs> so um, we have everything we need. So we can finally escape the RPD for good. Um, before we escape, we have to fight a mini boss. <laughs> My tea's cold and now I'm sad. <laughs> Never mind. Oh no, spooky zombies are coming through the windows. Um, these zombies do not matter for the A scenario, but um, for the B scenario, they are going to be in your way. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> Up we go to the clock tower. Um, what you're going to see in a, a little while is me equip the magnum. Um, basically, you want to go into your inventory as little as possible during the run. So obviously going into the inventory takes up time and time is precious during speed runs, would you believe? Who would have thought? So, um, drop the cog, equip the magnum, and off we go to our next section. Oh no, it's fine, don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> Now let's press F no. to pay our respects to Ben. Get away! No. 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 Trying very hard to resist jokes right now. Now we must go and see what happened to Ben. Ben! Poor Ben. You hear me? Come on, I love that bit of hair like just dangling Damn. out of his fridge. I don't believe this. <laughs> I almost got the story. Ben. Ben! <laughs> Bitter irony. The chief of police and co-conspirator. This game is very, very spooky. Get, Get that, that scum. scum. Make, Make him pay. Hang in there, Ben. Uh oh, oh. here we go. Shout outs to aliens. My chest. It's burning. This is what you call heartburn. <laughs> Them embryos are so adorable. God, what was that? 
Where are you going, Ada? To the chemical Fatality. plant. I have a feeling that's where I'll find John. Ada, wait. So John is hey. Ada's boyfriend. Do you read me, Claire? We now have access to the back of the parking lot. Got it. <clears throat> I'm getting out of here I'm and on heading my to the way. sewer. Can you meet me there? I'm on my way. We are off to the chemical plant where we will fight Dr. Robotnik. I mean, wrong game, Vix. All right, so um, we have to go past the spiders again. Time to go past Steven Sid. Let's hope they're kind. Bye, Steve. Hi, Sid, what you doing there? Oh, you, you just wanted a hug. Okay, hugs are cool. Spitting is not cool. <laughs> And here we are for our first mini boss of the game, G Mutanto. Hi Twitchy, how you doing? You're so cute. Um, this boss is very very easy, but you can waste a lot of time if you get him stuck in the middle of that alleyway, the walkway, because you can't get past him. Oh dear. Ugh. Quick shots, please. Do you know what? I give it a quick. Oh no, not the face hug. Move, please. That was um, that was a bad fight, but it's fine. I think I've got an extra key, which is not normally there, and I'm I'm a bit like sketchy about it. <laughs> So um, I didn't really want to show off the uh, the face hugging from the uh, the embryos, what was but that all about? Running off like that yeah, that's what happens. <laughs> Those zombies are everywhere. Not to mention that thing that got Ben. I was there, I'm Leon. Leon. I know. Oh. I'm sorry. I just <laughs> look, Ada. As an all right, officer, Leon's telling Ada off now because she isn't a strong, independent woman. Life. Apparently, Leon together, does not think okay? like this. All right, we'll do this your way for now. Even though she could kick Leon's ass, just saying. If you got poisoned um, a bit before, there's some blue heads here you can pick up. And also, there's a fast in that cabinet. What we just ran past as well, if you if you need it. And here we are, we're going to be switching over to Ada for the second time. And what you're going to see is uh, me unequip her handgun the minute I take control of her. Leon, um, it's to save time uh, during the next cutscene. I have to talk to her. Fun fact, I did actually do a stream where I dubbed all the, um, the, the cutscenes myself. <laughs> so for now, we have to um, follow Annette. Past, past the spooky, spooky, spooky crawlies. Down the ladder and into the lore part of the game. Uh, right there, that shot is where you will normally see Ada's handgun fly out of her hand. And um, when the cutscene's over, you will see Ada bend down and pick it up, which um, obviously takes a couple seconds for her to bend down and pick it up, which is why we unequip. So. Now yeah, I'm gonna do quick rock. <laughs> How did you know? Who are you? Annette Birkin. My husband is the man responsible for the creation of the <gasps> William Birkin. Oh my goodness. John's dead. He became one of those zombies. Ada's boyfriend is dead. She's just and found out. I Rip. This. F. You F. Boyfriend. Shortly, I won't let anyone take the G virus away from me. Unfortunately, um, you have a really cool CGI cutscene coming up, but it doesn't work on on my computer on a lot of people's computers, and it's one of the best cutscenes in the whole game. It's my favorite, but you can't see it, so. Sorry, if you, if you want to see it, you're gonna have to look it up. None of this would have happened if they hadn't tried to steal his research away from him. Yep, cool. Just 
just gonna uh, skip past that. So bit. those rats were the carriers of the virus. So the rats carried the virus, the virus into the city, and um, yeah, turned everyone into zombies. Although I'm not too sure you're allowed to say zombies anymore. Um, big meany ET people. We'll go with. And create offspring. No. No. Here we go. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. The slap. Too bad. Too bad. So there is where Ada would have bent down to pick up the handgun. And that's all we're gonna use for control of Ada this run. This little bit here is basically a door skip. If you don't skip it, you will hear Ada go, ah! and uh, yeah, Ada. <laughs> waste time. I'm sorry for. <laughs> Welcome to my streams. <laughs> um, unfortunately with Leon, we can't go the way we went with Ada, like up the ladder. We have to take the long way around. Good to go past the, uh, the creepy crawlies again. Yeah, this game, this game, like, everything in this game sounds absolutely beautiful. Um, so make sure on, as you run, can't talk, make sure as you run past this bridge to raise it back up again, because if not, you're gonna have a long way coming back to do it. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. Alright, scary part of the game, quick rock. If this goes wrong, the run is over. So um, there is there is a very very safe strat, but I might take the riskier strat. It depends on how I'm feeling. <laughs> Whoa! This is what we call Big Steve. It's not really. This is just what I call Big Steve. So um, there is a certain point we need to time to drop the canister. I did it a bit early because I thought my positioning was off, so unfortunately it's not quick rock rip. Um, but it, it's to... I would like to finish the game. <laughs> The sewers is a nice break from the RPD. It's kind of a place where you can collect your thoughts and uh, take a nice little break from all that running around doing the dangerous Leon. dodges. <sighs> this bullet wound isn't making things any easier. Quiet, Quiet Leon. Leon. Um, if you were injured any point up until this cutscene here don't, and you're still not on caution, don't annoying. waste a heal. Because Don't Ada gives you a free heal. So you're back up at 200 health. I just found out. John's dead. What? Never mind. Never mind. I just found Let's out my boyfriend's out dead. Here. Never mind. Doesn't matter. Better. It's fine. This is fine. So to escape the sewers, we need two things. We need an eagle medal and we need the wolf medal. The eagle medal is just chilling on this guy up here. Your guess is as good as mine, as to, uh, what did that to him? Oh, gosh. Yeah, the game is, the game is, uh, quite dark. Down we go. And we are going to swing this way and pick up the wolf medal from this guy. Excuse me, I'm sorry for um, the touching. Thank goodness Ada did not block me in. There's been a few rage compilations here actually where Ada has um, decided to position herself in such a way where you can't get down. Please spit at her. That's all I want from this run. Ah, oh, try. <laughs> 
the trigger here is incredibly awkward. <laughs> And um, that's the sewers done. Oh, big spooky noises. Gonna hit the switch to power up the tram. And in we go. <coughs> Excuse me. La 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 Ah! Alright, so the, uh, the strat here. Wait for the hand. Wait for the debris to fall. Move. Wait a second. Wait for the debris to move. This is it. This, this is the really intense super duper strat. where we take our first intentional bite. First and only, hopefully, intentional bite. It's just faster. Um, the only issue is, is that if Ada is right behind you and shoots a zombie, um, it, you can get bit a couple of times. So you want to mash off as fast as possible. I'm probably going to take another bite here because I'm, I'm not going to go slow. OK, nice. Yeah, they dodge. Cool. <clears throat> I am not confident about this fight. I'm gonna grab the fast. <laughs> Just because this is the one I have the most trouble with and it's probably it's it's a hard one to set up if you're not stood in this in the right place straight away. Um the infamous train Birkin fight. I need to grab the key to power, power up this thing. I'm not too sure what it's called, but I just call it a train spinny thing. So you want to um, equip the magnum, make sure you've got max bullets in there. Doggo. Air horns, air horns at dawn. How <laughs> cool it's the Oof. Ada, can you hear me? Big oof. Come on, snap out of it. All right, bless RNG boys. <laughs> oh, oh no, here we go. Here's the mutation. This guy can wombo combo you pretty bad. I think he's got me. Oh. Oh, no! Nice. Perfect fight. I'm happy. fight is very scary. <sighs> okay. Don't die on me, Ada. Come on. Wake up. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Please. All right. So we are making our way into the last section of the game. Um very scared about this section as there are quite a few kill points. Um, Welcome we'll just back. see how it goes. <laughs> we'll, we'll just see how it goes. <laughs> hey, take it easy. We're inside Umbrella's secret lab. Do I'll not look at the posters if you are so under 18, guys. <laughs> I'll only slow you down with these injuries. Go. Save yourself. 
I told you, it's my job to look after you. But you'll be in All Leon needs to do is spray Ada with a first Ada spray. <laughs> And she will be back to normal health. Oh my, I, I'm terrible at jokes. I'm just gonna shush, you know. <laughs> just, just ignore me. <laughs> I've been at work all day. First run of the day. I don't want to lose you. We're leaving this place together. Wait here for me. Aww. I'll be right back. All right. Into the labs we go. We have two directions we can go. We can go the Sonic way, or we can go the Knuckles way. Um, we are gonna go the Sonic way first because it has the stuff that we need to open up the way for the uh, the Knuckles way. We're into the cold room. Normally you would pick up the fast there, um, but because I have a fast and I'm on 170 health, it's not. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna leave it. Excuse me. I've got hiccups now. Um, equip the Magnum. Uh, you can equip it here or you can equip it when uh, we put the fuse in. It's up to you, it's personal preference. I like to put it in there because I always forget everywhere else. And now we go down the Knuckles way. Thank you. Thank you. What you are about to see here are some new enemies. Um, they're called Ivies. They are very dangerous. They, they look nice, they want to hug, but they will gas you and they will squeeze you. Basically boa constrictors, but green and grassy. I don't know. But wait, boas are green, right? Never, never mind, anyway. And we're also going to see super lickers. And they look dangerous, but they deal the same amount of health as normal lickers do. Please don't. Oh, okay, that's fine. I'm just worried about coming back, but it's fine. <laughs> we're also going to see. We're going to go to the lab. We're going to see some cute little zombies, all with their science coats on. Um, when we come into this room, we go down here because if you run straight ahead, that zombie's gonna be in the way in the door and you're in for the bad time. Pick up this key card, which is needed to get into the room uh, with the modus. Um, basically what we did there, manipulate that zombie into that corner. And on the way back is quite scary because liquors are scary. I'm gonna try and uh, a nip. It ninety percent of the time it works. Sixty percent of the time, just saying. Yeah, it didn't work this time. <laughs> All right, we're fine. Jump. All right, cool. Use that heal there um, because you'll have a full inventory otherwise, and you won't be able to pick up the modus, which means you're in for a bad time. Oh, where am I going? <laughs> Please don't... Ah. Back down the Knuckles Lane into Sonic again. And we are just going to go into the... the hardest room of the game. And pray <laughs> that we get it. Uh, right. Oh, you! Do you know what? Run, Leon! It's fine. This is fine. I thought I had it, but um, that zombie was a bit close. You, In for the final two cutscenes. You murdered my husband. I know what you're looking for. You came for the cute virus, didn't you? Take it from me. This is my husband's legacy. Now, where's that spy you? working with earlier 
You know who I'm talking about. What? What? You really don't know anything, do you? <laughs> You're so gullible. She's one of the operatives sent here by the agency. The only reason why she came here is to obtain the G-Virus. Which is my favorite cutscene. <laughs> no, it's um, I kind of like this one because of what's going to happen. In the next, <laughs> in the next couple of seconds, no spoilers, please. That can't be. I know her. Ada wouldn't do something like that. Bear in mind, he's known Ada for about twenty minutes. How does he know what Ada's doing? Um, also, uh, with the Ari lore, um, when you see Big John run Ari three later, um. He's, there's going to be a section where Jill is unconscious, and this is when RE2 takes place. So RE2 takes place in the middle of RE3. So um, have have some law. <laughs> uh oh. <gasps> now we've got to go fast. Because in every RE game, there's some kind of thing where you have to go fast and uh, settle in for a nice cutscene. This is our favorite cutscene um, when we're running the game because this one, if you're on PB pace, is extremely nerve-wracking. You, you can use this one to uh, go for a cigarette, you, you can use this one to go to the you bathroom, know, make a cup of tea, grab some so toast, hand over the G do whatever you want to do. I don't believe this. Annette was right. We also Annette. find out that, um, That's why I told Ada you is a bad guy. Me, but you Listen, now hand it over. Don't make me shoot you. We can't do that. I would um, also recommend you guys stick around later for RE1 and RE3, ran by um, Rod Derps and Big John. Um, the games are very Ada. different to this. Like, they're all Ada. movement, I've got you. tech. Don't give up. It's, it's quite different. So um, I definitely recommend that you stick around to watch those guys. Uh oh. You're gonna make it. It's oh no, Bible thump. Both know it. Bible thump. No. I promise you that we would escape. You just have to help me out here. I really want to escape with you, Leon. Escape from everything. Goodbye. It was then that Leon realized that he did it just for the uh, the booty, and it is now that he throws the uh, the Vimto away. Steve. So, <laughs> all right. This final part of the game. That throwing noise always gets me. It's so good. Um, swing around that ivy um, using up and left as you come out that door. Always miss him. I'm not going to go for naked uh, yellow dodges just because my health um, at the minute where it's at. I'm going to take it safe. I know I said I wasn't going to, but um, it, it's what it is. Ah! Ah! Put some clothes on. This is a uh, this is not a this is not a children's game. Never mind. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I played it when it first came out, but uh, okay. We made it this far. Five minutes until detonation. We now come against G Steve. Uh, best position to stand in is on the P. Hopefully, I do not mess it up this time. I just need him to do one jump, position ourselves correctly, and hopefully... I'm not going to foreshadow. No. Oh no, big doggy. Uh-oh. Steroids, Steve. 
Please, can I pet the doggy? Alright. I think we good. That might be a bit too far. He might jump down. Alright, no, we're fine. This is good. We done it. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is Resident Evil 2. That fight will always be the same if you get the position correct. Thank you guys so much for watching, I really appreciate it. I'm sorry, I am terrible at commentary. <laughs> and it was uh, about 30 seconds off my PB, which is really nice. Um. <laughs> Just gonna see the, uh, the end game time. Thank you so much for the GGs. <laughs> I'm happy with that. <laughs> uh, thanks again guys for letting me run this game. Thank you for watching. Thank you for um, being here along for the ride. Really appreciate it. Much love to you all. And um, I think Fozon is on next so get to watch Alex's kid. Thank you.